Okay, we are into the planking, the sh uh, sheathing of the outer skin of the boat. Okay, and uh, right, so as you see, I've, I've got quite a bit on already on the, on the top there. Uh, I put an effort in yesterday and got that up there. Uh, almost full sheets of 18 mil, so a bit much for me by myself. Uh, fortunately, I've got a forecoist, so I was able to manoeuvre it in close enough and get it on without smearing too much glue. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it made me wonder if I should have been building in foam. But you can build these in foam, or any hard chunk that you build in foam, it's, um, uh, it will be lighter, uh, but not by a hell of a lot. I believe you lose a lot in rigidity. Um, so yeah, it was my experience with the five nines is the first five wooden ones were heavier but stiffer and therefore faster than the uh, glass ones that came after them. So, so I was keen to stay with uh, something decent and stiff like like. Anyway, um, no regrets on that one. I've um, got uh, the two sheets. So I've got the last two sheets here, so I thought I'd better do a video before we get too far down the track. So basically what you've got to do is mark two sheets out at a time. So it's really important you get a, a, a true centre line right, right down the whole line. So basically you keep transferring uh, the centre line um, from one sheet to the other, and um, also this curve here. Okay, so they're not going to meet on a station, all right? They're going to meet halfway between a bulkhead, and and the stations themselves, you can't you can't take the station off the off the lofting plan because the lofting plan is done at a, on a on a level um, at a level, whereas we're doing a curve, so it's, there's more distance to travel. So you've really just got to climb up there and measure it on the job, uh, mark it down a piece of wood each station as you go for each sheet, and um, scribe them across, and then take the measurement off you. Make your bulkier plan for the bottom of the boat and put in a nail at each point and clamp up the nail, the batten, put a batten here. Got another set of hands, you don't really need to clamp them, but working short handed, it's nice to put a clamp through, make sure it's all true and good. Um, good thing about boat building is it does really talk to you if you um, if you you know if you get something out and you can have a dull mo uh, a, a moment there and uh, get, get a measurement wrong then the, the batten will be wrong. So you'll see it straight away. So uh, yeah, this is all looking good and ready to cut out. So I'll scribe a pencil line along here and I'll cut that with the jigsaw and then uh, uh, go along with a, a rebate plane and just take off any fat that's outside the pencil line, get it nice and true. Um, I've marked forward and aft, which is really important because you're spinning them around a bit, applying the glue and working upside down and working on top and you get oh, disorientated. And the, the ones towards the middle there are much are almost square, so it's really important you mark uh, forward and aft to keep everything well marked, the centre line well marked. But obviously the centre line, so basically I'll, I, mark, I mark one out, um, and the, well I mark two out at a time, and I'll fit this one, and I'll slide the next one along, and then do the next one as well. So I can keep running this back and through, um, and uh, you know, have a longer, a longer curve to work with, so that I can run it true from the last one to the next one. And again, we keep that um, that uh, center line continual. Uh, it's really important to get that center line right. Uh, obviously, that's the um, you're going to be a reference point for putting in your keel, your rudder, your keel floors, um, everything that makes the boat go straight. So, um, uh, make the engine. So, yeah, if you need that center line in there. It'll come in handy. Uh, you got the center lines on the bulkheads. I've also run a bit of a streamline on the entire point. You never have too many reference points. The one down the bottom is just no longer reliable. Stuff keeps dro dropping on it. So, um, yeah, so I've got that. Now, um, we join them with, with, with a butt strap, now, which is basically just an, another bit of glue, about a, uh, another bit of ply, about uh, 150, 75 cover either side where, the, where they join. So you glue, glue up the end, ply, end of the ply and then glue up the butt strap and, and basically all ties it together. It's super strong. But not this, not pretty. So um, the first one I've duck glued in, and uh, that's going under the diesel tank, so nobody cares. Uh, and then further on, um, we'll be using a um, just a, a butt strap with tape, so it releases from the glue, and uh, the ends will be glued. Uh, so the ply will hold, and it's obviously on the stringers as well. So um, it's not going anywhere. And later on, we'll grind that out, and we'll hot lay up a heavy fiberglass butt strap. Uh, but there won't be seams, it'll be level with the, well, slightly, slightly raised, but um, not like one of these. So, um, yeah, so 
the uh, good thing about this, the, the bottom one is relatively easy because the sides are, are plumb, uh, 9 degrees. Whereas the, the ones that follow will be, um, they'll come in, in at an angle, so they'll have to be scribed and, and both, both sides will be different. So um, we'll, we'll cover that in another video. Oh, a few tips. Glue sticks. Glue sticks, handy thing to know. Um, yeah, I like to have a couple of, make up a couple of glue sticks. Uh, these are made out of software, if you've got hardwood, that's even better. Uh, they actually get better over time because once they get infused with resin, you just know, tickle them up on, on bent. Um, I have an angled one and a flat one. Uh, they're good, you know, use them for mixing, for applying and cleaning off the glue. So this one's really good because it gets in the corners between the, where they've got the stringers and the, and the ply. Uh, you can let glue out, clean it off nicely. And uh, so that's a handy tip. That's what we call sheathing the outside of the boat.